In this tutorial, you'll learn how to download an ebook from ProQuest and open it in Adobe Digital Editions for offline viewing on your personal device, whether it's a phone or an iPad. Before you can download ebooks, you'll need to install the free Adobe Digital Editions app on your device. Once installed, you'll need to authenticate your app. Although the app doesn't prompt you to do this automatically, it's an essential step. To authenticate, you'll want to tap the three lines in the top left corner of the screen, the menu icon, and then select Settings. Under Accounts, tap on Authorize. Log in using your Adobe Digital Editions account. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to create one first. Here's a tip. Avoid using Google or Facebook to create your account, as the app doesn't support logging in through these methods. Also, do not use your Saddleback email, as this does not work either. With Adobe Digital Edition set up, navigate to the ebook you want to download. You can find it through the library's catalog or a link provided by your professor. You'll be prompted to log in using your Saddleback student login info. Once you've found the ebook, click on its title to open the detailed view. On the left side of the screen, under the Read Online button, you'll see a Download eBook button. Click on it. A screen will appear reminding you that you'll need an app to read the eBook. Click Done with this step at the bottom right of the screen. Next, you'll be prompted to download the book. Some books may have the option to select between downloading as an ePub or a PDF file. Next, select your device type and con click Continue. The ebook will download as an ACSM file, a small file containing the information needed to access the ebook. Go to your device's file manager and locate the ACSM file. Select the file and click on the icon to share the file. You're want, you'll want to share the file with the Adobe Digital Editions app. Once you do this, your ebook will now appear in the Adobe Digital Editions app ready for offline reading. You can highlight text and add bookmarks and make notes during your lending period. If you need the book longer than the lending period allows, simply download it again once the period ends. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're here to help you.